Next step will be, after we anchor that, this is a very important one. And this is where we get lost or where I get lost. I will speak about myself. So generally, this is what happens. You tell me yes or no, or how, how do you feel about it? Generally, when we are talking with somebody, we tend to put hundreds of attention of the person, two hundred attention of them. She's zero attention on herself and hundred attention on him. What he's saying, oh, and then, and then, no way. So we are totally out. Have you seen somebody looking at the TV like this? <laughs> And you are, you are in the side looking at him and he don't even recognize that you are standing. I'm like, well, this guy, what is happening? The same way happens many times to us when we are talking. But maybe you are doing the same time with the monk. <laughs> so my question is to you, how much per attention you have in yourself? Be honest. Maybe you are, what, this monk? Oh, this monk, ain't it? How much attention did you have in your body? Mm -hmm. Very little sometimes. So this is very dangerous. Very, very dangerous because we are lost in the world totally. So in order to understand what I'm saying, you don't need to put 100% attention. Keep 50% of attention in your body and 50% in what I'm saying. You will understand me. Don't worry. Okay, now let's do it. Feel your body. Can you feel your breath? Can you feel or your hands or your weight? Can you feel it? Can you understand me? Of course, you can do both. So we need to upgrade. Don't get lost in the, in the speech of the other person. You come back and you are, I know my body, I know the mind, I know what I'm thinking and the rea emotional reactions that are coming up. So if there is fire coming up, you will be able to hold it on time. If there is worry popping up, you will be able to <laughs> hold it on time. When fire is small, very easy to turn down, to turn off. But when the fire grows, even sometimes firefighters come and they say, oh, sir, your house is gone. Sorry, I, I cannot do nothing. It's too big of a fire. The same happens with anger. The same happens with fear inside. We are burning. The same happens with anxiety, stress, worry. Isn't it? Why do that, did it grow? Because we allow it to grow. We didn't check when it was small. And remember, all the fire starts small. There is no fire that, <laughs> have you seen fire like this? A la kabu, poof, like this, not possible. Fire always starts small and it takes time to grow. The more mindful we are, the sooner we will be able to <laughs> catch it, put water and turn it down soon. So this is one of the tools that we can use. 50 per minimum, eh? this is the minimum, 50% of attention in your own body and mind and 50% of attention in the world. Enough. Cola. You say cola? Hmm? Co. Co. Cow. In, in Cantonese. Cow, isn't it? Cow like. <laughs> okay, so 50 50 as a minimum. Cola, cola, co, co, co. Kaula, kaula, <laughs> kaula. <laughs> okay, 50, 50, and sometimes even more. Good. Let's breathe in. Kap hei, fu hei. <sighs> Next one. How much do you walk a day? Oh, a lot. We walk a lot. So, my dear family, here we're coming to my favorite ones. Walking meditation, I love it. Why? Because if we train ourselves to be mindful while we are walking in movement, many possibilities to be mindful during the day we will have. We will come back. We won't get lost because we don't live sitting. Somebody here lives, lives in their home or their, your whole life cross-legged like this with your eyes closed, somebody? None of us. You have children. How can you be? Okay, children, quiet. <laughs> no possible. You are driving. How can you do so? You see? We need to train our minds to be able to be stable and strong even while we are walking. That's why I love so much walking meditation because walking meditation is closer to life, isn't it? We live in movement. So if I already trained in the gym to be mindful while I'm walking, the whole day you can meditate. Do you see the potential? Do you see the potential? The whole day you will meditate for free. 
<laughs> you don't need to go to a special place. So how to do, I, you don't know, if you haven't heard the instructions, you just aware of your body and you can do while you are in the gym, take 50, uh, 15 steps and then you just go back and forth and you are mindful, keeping the mind stable. Past or future, you drop, by, drop and then just come to the body. That's how you do. And here comes one of my favorite ones. When I was a lay person, I was a musician and I was also a teacher teaching children. Imagine 40 children from 7 to 12 years old. You can imagine the chaos of that. 40 of them playing African drums or doing music. You can imagine the noise of that. So the thing was that when I was, uh, I was married back then and my ex-wife, we were working together. So we were there and I started feeling very stressed after the classes. There was so much noise and so much chaos. I started accumulating stress. So one time I told her, oh, you know, I feel very stressed. I'm not enjoying the job like this. So I said, what to do, what to do? One day, you know, when the children were making the games, the, pl the playing, I put music. So let's say the, the, you know, the mixer, the soundboard, let's say the soundboard was there. So I was playing here with the children. No, no, go here and there. Don't, don't jump that. Come down from here. Oh, I, 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 something like this. Where we were 40 of them. So then when the, when the game finished, I recognized that when the game finished, I needed to stop what I was doing, turn, let's say the sound, sound mixer is there. So I needed to go to the soundboard and then to turn the, the music down and then talk to them. Then I realized that actually, when I gave the back to the children, in this moment, even, even there was a lot of noise in there, I was by myself, there was nobody here. Wow, so the first time I, start, I came back to the body, come back to the breath, I came down, turn down the music, and then when I, when I turn it. <laughs> you see, the mind used that moment to, to come back, and I say, wow, I have a treasure here. From then on, I started using those moments, these transitions from activity until activity, I reclaim, reclaim those transitions, and I was actually meditating in a few seconds. I was coming back, calming the mind, and I used to tell, as I tell myself even up to today, come back, come back, come back. So this is my next recommendation to you. Whenever you have a space to walk from place to place, just come back. Reclaim those spaces. How can we do? Let's say this is the floor plan of our home, isn't it? So here is our home, and then, and then many times we go to the bedroom and from the bedroom to the toilet. How many times do you do that a day? Many times, especially on weekend. How many times we go to the toilet? Many times, isn't it? For washing the hands, for going to pity or whatever, whatever comes. So instead of being mindless in this little transition, just come back. Use those steps to come back. Try it, my dear family. This is one of my most precious tools that I used when I was a lay person. Since I was coming back many times from the, from the room to the kitchen in the morning or any time, I was using the house became my monastery. So I was coming back. And since I was coming back throughout the day in the different activities, the mind was never agitated by the end. The mind kept quite stable and even wholesome. And it was growing in meditation because I was reclaiming all the transitions. This is how I call this tool. Please, my dear family, reclaim all your transitions. Bring them back. Come back. And this is a moment just for you. Not just going to the toilet, meditating while we are going to the toilet or kitchen. And you can do that, not just that in your home, but also how many activities we have. Going to home, work, house, going to your family. You will start using all of that, not just in the house, but also commuting. Anyway, I'm going to job, I'm walking, I will meditate. So you, you get the point. Use any transition and you will see how much time many people complain, Bante, I don't have time for meditation. What? <laughs> you don't have time for meditation. Just gather all this. Wow, you have minutes and minutes and, or even hours of work, walking and etc. The point is made. Isn't it clear? Clear. It's done. Look for the next one. They came complaining, Bante, to a, a, very, a, a monk and a teacher that many of us love dearly, they came, Bante, I have no time for meditation. Here is his reply. He said, if you have time to breathe, <laughs> you have time to meditate, period. 
Ajan cawa sadu sadu sadu. If you have time to breathe, do you? Do you have time to breathe? <laughs> you have time to meditate. Period. No more complaints. Bante, I don't have time. Oh, do you have time to walk? Do you have time to go to toilet? Well, we have time to do a lot of meditation. Can you see the hope? Can you feel the hope? Feel it, feel it, feel it, feel it, feel it. Oh, oh, I see hope. I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Yes, our lives are not so dark. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. We just need to be creative, you see? That's the thing we need. You remember at the beginning I told you, be curious. Be like a child. Be creative. Once we are creative, otherwise we're... Mm, 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 mm. No, we wake up, we take the life, find new ways. And if we get a trouble, if we get an obstacle, use it as a stepping stone. Instead of complaining, oh, I got this stone. Oh, what can I do with this stone, by the way? <laughs> so we use it. So that's how we're going to do. The teachers have, have been saying all of that for years. And here we go on to the next one. Oh, everybody okay? Everybody okay? Cap hey? Fu hey? Okay, the next one. We, we are working now. This is a working session. So the next one is coming. Uh, well, we are almost finishing, but still have something. So the next ah, will not be like, ah, it will be like, Hu. okay? <laughs> so, cap hey, fu hey. <laughs> no, 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 like a warrior. Like a warrior. Okay, cap hey, fu hey. <laughs> no, not yet, not yet. Stronger, stronger warrior. Cap hey. <laughs> ah, this one. One more, one more. Cap hey. Fu hey. <laughs> yes. Dhamma warriors. Very good. Because the next one is the enemy. We are about to face the enemy. My dear family, let's get this one. Life, <coughs> sensual pleasures are not the enemy. The enemy is what the mind does with them. So here are the five enemies. Life is not the enemy. The enemy is desire and obsession, anger, drowsiness and nothingness in the mind, restlessness and worry and doubt. These are the real enemies. It's not life. It doesn't mean that we need, you need to let go of, of everything. No, you can have your family, you can have your home or whatever, or your business or your projects. Go ahead. But you need to take care of these guys. The life is no problem. So these are the five enemies that we need to keep out, and this needs to be clear. We need to keep the mind, whatever we do, free from desire, free from anger, free from sleepiness, restlessness and worry, and doubt. And once these five enemies are out, what stays? Of course, happiness. We are at peace. Now, where do these enemies live? Whoop. Inside. Do you have these five enemies? Yeah. I think you do. Me too. So my dear family, this is dangerous. You know, practicing the Dhamma is dangerous. The enemy is living already inside of us and is moving the, the strings without us knowing. We need to wake up from within. Desire and obsession, lust, is assailing, is, is calling, anger and all of them. So let's keep that in mind and we don't need to fight with life. It's okay. So we breathe in like cool one, not the warrior one, we cap hay, and we are at peace. And I will tell to these five guys, I see you, I know who you are, I, I know how you behave, I know how you start and what are your moves, so I will be able to take you away. We don't need to fight them, we'll just move away. Deal? Deal? Okay, you're making a deal with a monk, huh? <laughs> In front of the Buddha, huh? <laughs> With the candles on, ah, so watch out, then what you say. Deal. Yeah, good deal. Make a deal. Deal. Me too. I will try. I will try. Okay. 